Recently, my wife and I were having a discussion, and we were talking about our blood types. I couldn't remember what mine was at all, and she remembered that hers was O, but can't remember positive or negative. A little later, I found a card that told me that mine was A positive, but we don't know what our kids' blood types are at all. Welcome to the Niels Homestead, and today we're doing home blood type tests. All right, here comes the fun part. There for a lot of stinging. Wait. <laughs> we tried to find the kids' blood type, maybe on their birth certificate or passport, because often hospitals will test that, but it doesn't seem to be on our kids' birth certificates. So we went on Amazon and ordered some home blood type tests. This is the test. We have nothing to do with this brand. We're not endorsing them, but this is what we got on Amazon. It's one of the cheapest, but it had good reviews. So let's open this up, see what the instructions say inside. See what all's in here. Looks like we got an alcohol prep pad. These must be the test things. Bottle, another bottle. They seem to have pretty decent instructions. It's got one through 12 steps here. The reviews on Amazon said that it's important to follow the steps properly. Timothy has volunteered to be our first patient. The first step to do is to separate out all these sticks and keep them. Each one will go to one circle. Get the test card out. Step two is to put a drop of water on each of these uh, circles. You have to be very careful not to put too much and mix the circles. These are the testing compounds. These are, these are the finger lances. You have to twist and remove this, kind of get it ready to shoot. Next is the sterilization. They send a little alcohol swab. All right, here comes the fun part. Prepare for a lot of stinging. Wait, no. <laughs> Come on, you'll be okay. Tiny little drop of blood. And what we have to do is squeeze enough out to fill this up. So you use one little thing and that's the last one, and I think Timothy's happy. We have to mix each one of these, being careful not to contaminate any of the ones next to them. You're supposed to stir each one of those for 10 seconds. Next, it says we need to tilt the card all different directions, being careful not to mix them. This is basically causing the, the blood, the water, and the agent to mix on the card so that it will speed up the coagulation process. So we'll set this aside and then we'll figure out later what Timothy's blood type is. Next up is David. David's a little hesitant about this whole process. Give me your finger, David. Do it like this. Like or do look. Why can't I see the needle? You're okay. It's a tiny little thing. You're alright. Okay. Yes. <laughs> that was so bad, wasn't it? The last one for David. You look excited, Micah. Not really. At least you're not trying to get away. The last boy. Like, stings for a split second. You're done. 
it's time for Maya. In your finger. This one. Yeah. This will make it nice and clean <laughs> so there's no germs. <laughs> right, Maya. So take this. It's the last one of the kids for Maya. Same thing as the other ones. The results are in and we've looked at the dots and compared them to the charts. It depends on which ones coagulated, depending on what blood type you have. So you've got O, A, B, and AB, and then you have positive and negative of each. Timothy, matching his up with the chart over here, we find out that he is O positive. Next is David. And he is also O positive. <laughs> Micah, same thing, O positive. As it turns out, Maya is the same thing. All four of them turned out O positive. My blood type is A positive. We tested my wife, and it turns out that she is O negative. So it's interesting to see that I'm the only one in my family with the A blood type. All my kids got O positive. Uh, we did a little Googling just to find out like who could give blood to who. And my wife could give blood to any of us. O negative is kind of like the perfect donor. They can give blood to anybody. The downside of that, however, is that only an O negative person can give blood to an O negative person. The kids could all give blood to each other, to anybody who is positive from my understanding. So O, A, B, and A, B. And they could give blood to me, uh, but there's nobody that I could give blood to in my family. So I guess if I need blood, I have lots of donors around me. That was an interesting little experiment. I think we found out some important and useful information, and it's just kind of cool besides. If you don't know your blood type, you ought to get on Amazon and order one of these things and find out what your blood type is. It's good information to know. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment down below.